Hey sightseers, Sightseeing Sal here. I thought I'd share with you something that I found rather interesting up here in the north woods of Wisconsin. As you can see, I'm out in the middle of the woods, pretty much out in the middle of nowhere, and I stumbled upon a gravesite. Yep, there is an actual gravesite here in the middle of the woods in northern Wisconsin. All right, I'm going to apologize. The sun is shining just right, so I can't see the screen too well. But if you look at the headstone, it says LB, and I believe it's pronounced Van Leuven. And the dates are November 20th, 1838 through January 28th. 1913. There's a sign here and it says gravesite of Civil War vet who with son-in-law R.W. Knapper and family settled here 1900 established community of Knapper which is now the Stevenson Township. So Knapper would have been the original town and they somewhere along the lines changed it to Stevenson Township. So Napper would actually be considered a ghost town here in Wisconsin, although there's probably nothing left of it. But if you would go back and look at a listing of ghost towns for Wisconsin, I'm pretty sure you would find Napper listed on it. But how interesting is that? So somebody laid their loved one here to rest in the woods. I didn't know that, that you could do that here in Wisconsin. I don't know if this land was owned by the family at some point or or what, but apparently the person wanted to be buried here. If you look, you can see the star that says 1861 to 1865, which would designate the dates of the Civil War. I don't know if the individuals served that entire time in the Civil War, if they only served part of the time in the Civil War. It's a mystery for sure. From the looks of it, it appears that people have been coming out here and tending to the gravesite over the years. As you can see, there's artificial flowers that are starting to fade that have likely been left here for quite a while. The sun's beaten down and the rain taking its toll on them. And then also, if you look at the site itself, you can see that somebody's left some metal, oh, some type of sunflower type statue, metal artwork that have been placed in the ground. And then also a US flag and some other artificial flowers. And then of course, there's a really nice headstone that's been laid here to designate the individual that was laid to rest here. I'm assuming it's a newer headstone. It's made from granite. Now granite can last a lot longer than the old limestone headstones, but based on the age of this grave and the dates for the individual that was here, I suspect that there was probably an original limestone headstone that deteriorated and then was replaced with the granite headstone. Here's another view of the grave site. I find it rather interesting that whoever built the fence around the grave site took care to make the framing out of old water piping and then attached chain link linking to it. So it's kind of ingenious what they used to 
make this type of fence or, you know, to keep probably animals and deer out from messing with, with the gravesite. It's just really interesting to me. I don't know if you remember from some of my older videos, but when we were out west, we discovered a few individual lonely graves out in the middle of nowhere. And so this here reminds me of that. I just find it really fascinating that you'd find something like that up here in the north woods of Wisconsin. Not something you come across every day. It's a rarity, actually. It's quite unfortunate. I don't know anything else about L.B. Van Leuven. All I know is when they were born and when they died, the fact that they served in the Civil War and that with their family, they settled, settled here. I don't even know if they're male or female because of the wording on that other sign leaves it rather vague. I'm assuming it was a gentleman. I guess you can't really make that assumption. I do have some change in my pocket. I know I've seen it on other graves. It's meant as a sign of respect, change being left. And so I'm gonna leave, leave some change here. LB, may you rest in peace. I know some of you sightseers are probably more adept at doing genealogy research and whatnot online. So, I have a challenge for you. If you could look up the individual that's listed here on the gravesite, L.B. Van Leuven, that's spelled V-A-N-L-E-U-V-E-N. If you could look them up and see if you can find any family history or history about the individual and the time that they served in the Civil War, that would be really awesome. And if you could leave that down in the comments section below, I'll pin it to the top of the feed. Until next time, this is Sightseeing Sally. Special thanks goes out to all our fellow sightseers here on Patreon and PayPal. Without you, these videos wouldn't be possible.